This is a demonstration of an AIM EVO 4S with a GS dash and a 2017 Infiniti Q50S Red Sport 400. Um, this is connected uh, displaying live ECU data uh, via CAN bus um, communication via the OBD2 port. You can see here um, this top bar indicator shows RPM. When I rev the engine there you can see the RPM climbs. Um, this is manifold air pressure here, so boost pressure in absolute terms. So there's about 9 psi of vacuum currently. This is throttle position um, in percent, engine coolant temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. If I scroll to the next page here, you can see all the detailed ECU information. Uh, once again, the map, the TPS, engine coolant temperature, RPM is 675. Um, this is an external oil pressure sensor that's not actually connected to the engine right now. That's an analog channel um, that's wired into uh, one of the five analog channels available on the EVO 4S. This is the vehicle speed um, from the ECU and this is the GPS speed from uh, the GPS 8 antenna. This is the battery voltage that's available. This is externally applied. Um, this, this isn't from um, the actual vehicle. Um, this is the MAF signal. This car does not have a MAF sensor, so that's not available. There is a um, intake air temperature signal that's not shown here as well. Uh, that will read the intake air temperature sensor from um, the intake manifold. Um, this is the, the load, the engine load in percent. Um, this is your number of satellites here, uh, 14 satellites, and this is your accuracy in millimeters. The odometer currently is six miles. This is your um, a lateral uh, g-force and obviously if I rotate the data logger here you'll see those values fluctuate and then your vertical g-force. If I scroll back to the home screen here we can click menu and go through the available settings so first of all the backlight click menu and enter for backlight we can change the backlight color here to purple red, green, yellow, blue, magenta, or cyan. We'll leave it here on white. Um, we can turn the backlight off and on via the next row. Um, this will automatically have track detection here. So these are the closest tracks available um, in the area that we're currently located. So Mossport, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, and Montreal Shannonville. And uh, you can see how many miles away they are. Um, it's not selecting those tracks because we're not actually close enough for it to do so. If I click exit, go to the next counters menu here. We have 22 minutes on this particular data logger and 5 miles of, um, of actual odometer usage. So we can reset all of these right now by clicking reset, I click exit. And I go to the next. This allows you to configure the date and time. So the, the time format in terms of 12 hour military time, the date format, and then the, the current time and the current date. Finally, some system info on your dash information. Um, so you can get the firmware version, serial number, boot version. That info isn't relevant. And Evo 4S info, once again, same information. All of this is configurable via Race Studio 3. Um, majority of um, ECU manufacturers have dedicated templates that have already been um, made. This is using the generic OBD2 protocol just because this vehicle is so new. Um, we'll be making um, ECU templates for this shortly.